To get some thoughts on this from Matthias Dornfeld, he's from the Berlin Centre for Caspian Region Studies at the Free University of Berlin. Thanks for being on the programme. You're live on RT International. How big a deal is this today that Austria is very firmly on board then? I think this is a step forward for a secure supply for Southeast Europe as well as for Europe since uh, alternative projects were not, uh, have not been realized and uh, it shows that Austria realized that uh, the link uh, with Russia is tremendous importance in times when we have uh, uh, troubles in Ukraine and uh, Ukraine is not ready to pay their bills to Gazprom and this causes insecurity. I think that um, the amount we are getting into Austria is uh, tremendous important for Austria as an energy hub in Europe and uh, Austria will thus uh, um, enhance their position on the uh, European gas market. Mm. Of course, the Austrian stretch is uh, relatively short uh, compared to the whole South Stream project, only about 50 kilometres or so, isn't it? Um, uh, further along that pipeline is Bulgaria. There have been a lot of question marks about that lately, a lot of question marks about the timing, about why there are question marks as well. Um, can Bulgaria feel um, more reassured, maybe? Will the pressure be off them now that Austria is well and truly in on the deal? I think the question of Bulgaria was highly politicized in a, a time when we had, uh, you know, the uh, developments in Ukraine. And um, since the Commission was uh, clearly stating that uh, they will progressing visit talks on South Stream uh, when Russia is giving concessions on Ukraine, is pretty clear that it was for the first time linked with a political indication by the commission. Um, my opinion is that uh, when we have a new government in Bulgaria after the elections, Bulgaria will continue with the project and I think we will also find a solution with uh, the commission and um, the Russian side due to the point that uh, all the countries in the southeast of Europe needs uh, a, re a reliable supply of gas. I mean, mm. uh, pr uh, Prime Minister Viktor Orban, uh, the Hungarian Prime Minister, stated in, in uh, May in a, on a conference in Bratislava that all the European projects uh, supported by the Commission, the interconnected to Croatia and the interconnected to Romania are not working yet and there is no progress at all. I'm coming also to the LNG terminal on Island Kirk and he said he has to make sure that his country uh, gets uh, the uh, natural gas for, for the national economy. Yeah. It's tremendous importance. So, so South Stream is in this context not only important as I mentioned Hungary but also for Serbia, for Bulgaria and yeah. Slovenia as well. And, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, you rather take the sparrow in the hand than the pigeon on the roof and realize a project which is probably not the first pri priority of the uh, commission. But we saw what happened with Nabucco. Nabucco was from the early beginning uh, uh, clear, uh, clearly only viable with the Iranian gas and yep. not with what the commission sought with Turkmenian gas and with gas from uh, Iraq or from um, from from Egypt. So what we have as a result, uh, we have now turn up and top the uh, gas is going from Azerbaijan through another mm -hmm. pipeline to Europe to Italy, but still there is a need of additional and secure gas yeah. uh, in Southeast Europe and Austria yeah. as well. After you you see what we had uh, in 2006 and especially in 2009, when the countries like Bulgaria and Slovakia uh, were you know cut off from gas and had uh, went into dire straits. Exactly, Matthias. Thank you for being on the program. Much appreciated, Matthias uh, Dornfeld there from the Berlin Center for. Caspian Regional Studies at the Free University of Berlin. We appreciate your time.